Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and droids across our beloved empire to today's video where yours truly, the director of the video gaming division, is going to be nosediving into the brand new Star Wars mobile game that has hit the market in soft launch as of today, Star Wars Hunters. We're going to start off with some Q&A. How can you get access and play this game early before the official release in the beginning part of 2022? And we're going to get into some gameplay and get our first initial reaction to all of it now first thing i want to point out i am not going to be official text part but i'm going to at least tell you how i was able to get it because as of now unfortunately star wars hunters in soft launch right now is only available on android in india philippines malaysia and indonesia and this is pretty typical of mobile game soft launch they only release in the select countries out there even star wars galaxy heroes when it first came out was only available in countries like australia and then later on once they hit official global launch the rest of the galaxy can get a hold of it. But I'm going to share with you how I was able to pretend I was in one of these countries, even though I am not. Now, there are two ways that you can play Star Wars Hunters right now. And from personal experience playing mobile games, the earlier you get in on them, the better. And usually people who play in beta soft launch, they get a pretty good advantage because of the time before the global launch happens. Option number one, the way I got access to Hunters was using ExpressVPN. There's going to be a link down below in the video description. Basically, I masked my IP, pretending I was in India using the Mumbai service I'm showing you, and was able to fool Google Play into thinking I was from India, and I was able to officially download Star Wars Hunters via Google. However, and if you do go down the route of using ExpressVPN, those links down below do support the channel, so thank you so much for helping out the channel if you do go down that route. There is one more alternative route. Big shout out to the Star Wars Hunters Network Discord server. Links down below to hang out with them. They shared an APK file. Now, I'm not responsible if anything goes wrong but i did try it out myself i uninstalled the game i got from google used the apk from the star wars hunters network server i downloaded the file i opened it up straight from the tablet and the game was up and running in mere seconds then now do note neither of these two tricks will work on an android emulator like blue stacks mamu nox and you can't play right now on ios and switch until early 2022 with the global launch but heck, if you're on Android or you have a spare Android device laying around, at least you can enjoy some of the Star Wars Hunters fun right now. And the good thing about going down the APK route, if you feel comfortable with it, is that it is completely free to download this file and install it on your tablet. And the other benefit of using this APK is you don't need to worry about masking your IP to play. You could be in any country as long as you have that file. But with that said, let's get right into the gameplay and have some fun. So we booted up Star Wars Hunters, and the first thing you're going to see is them taking you through the basic tutorial of the game. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. And I'm hoping this does work on Android emulators because I am definitely more of a mouse and keyboard person. Do know this will come out on iOS and Switch later on. So if you're more of a thumbstick type of person, like I am a joystick, Nintendo Switch might be our best option here. Welcome to the Grand Arena. A little shout out to our Galaxy of Heroes players right there. Time to learn the basics with the Range Hunter and Mara Vex. I gotta say, man, uh, the graphics uh, definitely one of the better Star Wars looking mobile games I've seen in a while. Drag on the right side of the screen to look around and aim. Aim at the highlighted droid to the right. So here we go. Oh, all right. So it looks like it's kind of got an auto aim and auto fires when you target it. Oh, wow. That's good. That's a nice hit. <laughs> that's a nice aim assist there. So you just got to make sure you aim and it does the shooting all by itself. I didn't have to press anything. It just aim and it automatically starts firing. So there's an auto fire situation here going on. There we go. So as you see, we get the little gold icon that pops up. Let's get a little jump. And there we go. That's how we're going to mount objects out there. All right. So there we go. If you want to be more accurate, you use that. But all hunters have three unique hunter abilities. So I'm just going to press it right now because if I get too close, it's going to start auto firing as you see. So let's go ahead and launch that there we go auto wow auto aim is pretty darn strong in here all right now we're gonna take advantage of our recharge as you see it's recharging at the bottom right corner so we can't use it quite yet and there we go it's all ready to go let's go ahead and hit that puppy and then let's go ahead and zoom out in here beautiful there we go so the weapon spread definitely gets reduced quite a lot so using the same button that we use to hop over objects we're gonna use this a zip line down there we go so it looks like one of amara vex's specials is a grappling hook here so we're gonna go ahead and grapple oh man this is gonna be a lot of fun this is going to be a lot of fun. So I'm guessing some characters will be able to access the high ground and some will not. All right. So we're going to move on to melee combat. We're going to experience it with Graz, our resident Wookiee inside the game. Approaching an enemy with the melee weapon causes you to auto attack. So same drill like Amara Vex. It's just going to I'm not doing it literally one handing. I mean, I'm, I know I'm pretty dang good at triple B mobile games, but it looks like, okay, look, I get back in line here. Come on. Don't make me look like an idiot. There we go. Don't have to touch anything. He automatically does it. So I guess that makes it a little bit simpler because a lot of other shooter games out there require you to aim and shoot all right aiming hunter abilities with target lock off hold and drag the frenzy ability button to see its area of effect and aim so here we go all right so there we go got the little blue light line on the bottom here that shows how wide his aoe is gonna be so let's go ahead there we go 
There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. With target lock on, abilities are aimed automatically at your targets. Here we go. We're going to aim at this guy. And as you see, it, it just stays locked out. Oh, it's got a nice little spread. Oh, there we go. So even his basic ability, we're not using anything special. It's got a nice little splash effect damage. All right. Looks like Graz also has access to the zip line. Let's go ahead and zip on down. All right. Let's go ahead and get some health. There we go. So it's kind of like the med pack droids uh, back in Battlefront 2. The button above your health bar is the ultimate ability. All right. So I see we're at 0% right now. Use just charges up over time, but let's give it a boost with the ultimate charge pickup. Here we're going to jump up and boom, already at 100%. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. This definitely, we were kind of speculating on what this game is trying to be. Definitely seems like it's trying to be more of an Overwatch uh, type of gameplay out there, which I'm all for it. All right, let's go ahead and zip line across. We got our ultimate charged up here. All right, I guess it wants to do it one more time. Let's go ahead and throw it. Oh, man, this is going to be a lot of fun. All right, let's move on to the next zone. Let me get to know your hunters in a bit more detail. Let's tap on the roster here. This is the roster screen, which displays all the hunters currently. Okay, we can tap on them. Let's tap on Amara Vex. Now that you see what Amara Vex can do, we can now customize her outfit there. Oh, so, I'm, so again, one of the things we got to look for, and we'll talk more about in other videos, what's the monetization aspect looking like in this game? And it might be, hopefully, just customizable cosmetic features, I'm hoping. But as we see, 330 crystals for that one next to it and 4,600 credits. All right, let's do our first match real quick and see how this is looking like. All right, here we go. Match is starting up in three seconds, waiting for players one out of one. Uh, this is my concern. Is there going to be anyone in here? All right. Looks like we got a few people inside of our lobby. I'm guessing I get to pick my character. Um. All right, I guess so. I'm Okay, so I see it. So it's just like Overwatch or Rainbow Six Siege where you got to pick your operator for the most part. We're going to use the... There we go. Ooh, we're gonna use Reeve. Let's see how it goes, baby. Let's see how it goes. All right, so Whimsy's going. So, all right. So this would be. This is very reminiscent of a lot of those other operator type of games where everyone takes turns picking someone. You think we're gonna get any of those? I want to be Graz. <laughs> now, to my knowledge, there's three types of classes. You got like an attacker, support, and tank. I believe. Uh, let's see how. I, I'm guessing ours is gonna be an attacker. We're still learning how all this operates. All right, here we go. Let's see how this works here. All right, so capture points unlock in 15 seconds. So I'm guessing this is kind of like uh, capture the command post or something of that sort. There we go. There they are. I got a lightsaber throw. Let's give it a shot. There we go. Throwing it. We got it. Oh, we got stunned. We got stunned. Okay, looks like we got to get rid of this Graz guy here. All right, so there we go. All right. Oh, we're already eliminated. Okay, I have no idea what's going on here. Let's see. Okay, we got little instant replays of our elimination there. All right, let's try this again. So we probably should have stuck to the Mar of X or Graz because I am not a thousand percent sure. How uh, Sharif is working out here. I guess this is our lightsaber throw. Let's throw it. There we go. Throwing it. So I guess we go close. There we go. So this is pretty much like Graz in terms of just got to get up and close. Up close first. So there we go. We got a little force leap going. There we go. Looks like we got the assist right there. Beautiful. All right. Looks like she's trying to throw some heals on the ground. We're still learning all these kits and abilities here. All right. Let's throw a lightsaber. Oh, kill got snapped. Our kill got snapped there. Looks like we're starting to get some points. There we go. Getting some points on the leaderboard here. What does this do? Can I, like, tap and hold? All right, looks like it's kind of like a Darth Maul plunge here. All right, let's see. Can we throw a lightsaber? There we go. Throwing a lightsaber. Coming back. Ah! Get off my grand arena. This is my game. Here we go. Probably. There we go. There we go. Come on. There we go. There we go. We got an assist right there. Beautiful. All right, let's make sure we keep in control of the middle. There we go. We got a nice assist. Thanks, Luck. This. Okay. So, uh, is there any other command points that we should be wary of here? Looks like this might be a onesie, perhaps, here. All right, here we go. We got a... Uh, here we go. We're going to try to keep our range here. There we go. Okay. There we go. Looks like we got the assist. Beautiful. All right, 30%, man. These guys are looking like chumps right now. All right, we're, we're going to try to do a lunge here. Let's go for it. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, we got the assist. Locus assisting me yet again. Let's go ahead. We're going to hold it. Hold it. So there we go. That's our range right there. I'm going to push up a little bit more. And let's throw it. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. Yeah! Ah, too close. All right, too close. It's all good. It's all good. Let's keep it going, baby. All right, we're going to respawn in one second here. Beautiful. All right, let's get back to the middle. All right, it looks like the enemy... Oh, we lost the point. All right, there we go. Looks like they're starting to get points back. So, all right, they're pushing the middle. Looks like our team's doing all right. There's only one person left back there. Let me help them out. All right, let's get... I wish there was a sprint. Is there a sprint functionality? There we go. Boom! There we go. The enemy team has been completely wiped out. All right. Staying in the middle. It looks like we're almost to our full altar at 97% here. All right, 57% on the command point. We're looking pretty darn good. Ultimate fully charged. So unlike the tutorial, here, I'm going to go close here. Oh, we got stunned. Shoot, 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 shoot. Ah, uh, did I use? I don't even know if I used my ultimate. Oh, did I even use my ultimate? I have no idea. Let's see from the replay. 
It looks like we used it, but I don't know if we actually took anyone out with it. All right, let's get back, guys. Come on, guys, pick up the pace. All right, let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, wow, there's a lot there. We have a lot of work to do, so we're going to go ahead. Throw the lightsaber. There we go. Got a few hits. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, did we... Oh, what? Come on, just tap on her. She's almost dead. All right, come on, come on, come on. All right, one second left in the respawn. Oh, boy, they're really catching up now. They're definitely catching up now. All right, it's contested. We're at 67% to 26%. Let's keep pushing. Keep pushing. All right, let's go ahead off this guy. Let's get this grass out of here. There we go. Come on. Oh, let's heal up a little bit. Heal up a little bit. There we go. We're going to heal up. Boom. There we go. And that should do it. All right, we defeated him. Let's go ahead and get a lunge going. There we go. Turn around. Turn around. There we go. We probably should target lock on him. I think we should get a target lock going so we don't have to worry about moving around as much. There we go. Beautiful. We have the target lock going. Let's go ahead and get the lightsaber throw. Beautiful. Let's move on over here. There we go. One, two. There we go. Double elimination, baby. You came to the wrong game at the wrong time here. All right. Let's get this here. Let's get a target lock going on her. All right. She should be done in three, two, one. Beautiful. All right. We got the... We're back. We're capturing. We're capturing. Keep pushing. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Throw that. Get a couple of easy hits there. Let's see. Maybe we can do one of these. Oh, Graz got in my way here. Let's get a target lock going. There we go. There we go. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. We got an assist. We need a heal. Let's see. I think there was a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back over here. There we go. Full health. Oh, man. That's a big boost. I wasn't expecting an instant boost like that. All right. Graz is coming. Let's throw that. Oh, we got stunned. Lightsaber should come back. Come on. All right. Oh, I didn't get anything off that guy. All right. It's fine. Now we're almost to our second ultimate here. All right. All right. All right. Let's go ahead. Oh, throw it. Throw it. Mm, completely missed out. Almost to ultimate here. Let's go ahead and do a little lunge. Completely missed. We got a target lock on someone. There we go. Boom. All right. Come on. There we go. We got the assist. Let's go heal up a little bit. Very nice. Very nice. All right. I'm going to... There we go. Whoa! All right! I mean, that was just our first game. Trying to get used to the mechanics, understanding the characters, getting used to the buttons. But, man, not too bad for a first battle. I got to say, I played a lot of Star Wars mobile games in my time. Definitely, for a mobile game, definitely up there. De better than especially Galaxy of Heroes right now. Galaxy has been around for five, six years at this point almost. There we go. Look at that. 17, 68 eliminations, 12 eliminations, assists, 5 elimination killstreak avenge. There we go. Not too bad. So here we go. Here's our credits. Let's see how many we get. We got 15 credits for the victory. Okay. All right. Now, let's just get to the main menu. I'm just kind of curious. Oh, man. I can't wait to try that guy out. Here we go. So I'm guessing this is how we can play with our friends. Beautiful. I'm definitely going to hit a mobile gamer here. What I'm curious about is the monetization here. And so right now, everything is not converted into US dollars. But I'm assuming that crate at the bottom right here is probably going to be probably $100 if I had to guess. And so far from what I'm seeing... Everything seems to be primarily cosmetic. Let's see. Let's see if we... What's this? Uh, this looks like an emote, perhaps. Yeah, it's an emote of some sort. Yeah, and here we go. We got some weapon wraps for the lightsaber. I'm feeling pretty good that it looks like this is purely cosmetic. Normally, if there was some sort of boost, you would see some sort of stat indicator of going up and down. And it looks like you might be able to alter the abilities a little bit. So as you see, here are the three specials that Reeve had that we were using. We have Ruthless Pursuit, where she would do the dash, kind of like Darth Maul. And right now, it just says core. But as you can see, there's a hinder right here, as well as a spree. And this does require some credits. This might be where the catch is right here. So I'm guessing it's kind of like an attachment, if you want to think of, like, Call of Duty, for example. So if I understand this correctly, you're probably going to need about 26 wins, assuming there's no other way to get credits. We got 15 from that one match. I would need to do 26 matches to be able to unlock one of these and add it to my character. So far, I'm not seeing a way to outright buy the credits. Right now, you only can buy crystals, but I'm not seeing a way to convert crystals into credits. So, fingers crossed, this doesn't turn to something over-monetized. Right now, I'm not seeing any reason to spend money on this game unless you want some cosmetic items. But in terms of actual performance benefits, it won't let me buy it, and it's not showing me how I can get access to more cr credits. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Gun Get the Droids, I think that's going to wrap it up for today's initial impressions of Star Wars Hunters. Let me know down below, what are you thinking of this game, just from the first little tidbits that we saw for me, Star Wars is Star Wars. I'm loving to see more Star Wars games hit the market. Don't know how successful it's going to be without iconic Star Wars characters attached to it, but I think it has the overall model and classes. So long they keep adding new characters, new game modes, new maps, and other maybe season passes or something like that. Something to grind for and keeping it nice and refreshing. I think this game might have some legs sometime down the road. So if you want to see some more Star Wars Hunters content, hit that like button, comment down below. And more importantly, subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And as always, it's great to be in the Empire today.